Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to configure your environment for theme development. So when you are doing theme development, you will be uh, writing your code in your JS, CSS and Metric files, okay? So by default, Drupal will uh, aggregate your JS and CSS file. So aggregation means all your uh, JS and CSS file will be uh, aggregated into one file. So you can see this is a CSS file and this is a JS file. So all your files are aggregated here. So since it is aggregated, whenever you are doing changes in your JS or CSS file, you need to clear a catchy to make it affected in your website. And also Drupal will default uh, catchy your trick files. So whenever you are doing changes in your trick files, you have to clear the catchy. And uh, to we are going to disable all those options. And also we are going to enable one more option called a uh, theme suggestion. So which means uh, you can see here, we are seeing the HTML, right? So uh, e for each element, there will be some HTML uh, tweak will be loaded for each element. So this, this is a search block. So block HTML will be loaded here. When you enable the theme suggestion, it will give you the suggestion of what are the tweak files you can use to override this particular block element in the uh, in the HTML. So you will be able to see all those. I am going to enable that option too here. And you should not enable all this option in your production environment. This option should be enabled in your local environment, okay? In broad aggregation should be there. And also we, we need to uh, disable a debugging and also we need to enable the catching, okay? So first I'm going to my file structure. So this is my file structure. I already opened. And when you go inside your sites, sites default in that setting.php will be there. When you go at the bottom before the DB connections, you will be able to see uh, these three lines. So the, these three lines are used to enable uh, settings.local.php where you can configure your additional configurations. So first I'm going to enable this. So once you are enabled, what you have to do? Under your sites, you will be able to see there is a file called example.setting.php. You just copy it and paste it inside your uh, default and you have to rename it as setting.local.php, okay? You rename it. Once you renamed and you go down, here you can see the aggregation is uh, disabled. So when you, when you see false, the aggregations are disabled for JS and CS files. And then we are going to disable two catchy. One is render catchy, one is dynamic dynamic catchy. So this is the render catchy. I am uh, disabling catchy for render. And then here you can see this is for dynamic ca page catchy and I am disabling that too here. So now we disabled catchy for uh, render and then for dynamic page catchy once this is done when you scroll up and you can see that there is a one more yml file is getting load here right development.service.yml okay so you have to open that file so that is that file is this is development.service.yml and here we have to add a uh, option to enable the theme debugging and then we need to clear a catchy so let me add it under parameters you have to add. So that is tweak dot config colon enter space. Here you have to enable the debugging. So which will give the theming suggestion and then auto reload. Auto reload means uh, whenever you are doing any changes on your file, it will be automatically reloaded in your take files. And then next is catchy. I'm going to disable a catchy. So once this is done, you just save it. And then I'm going here and, and I'm clearing the catchy. Now catchy cleared. When you do view source. So here you can able to see that all the CSS and JS files are loading without any aggregation. And also this is what suggestion. To override this particular HTML, you can create any HTML file with this name, quick file. Uh, so this file will be overrided with this file, okay? So it will be uh, listing for all the elements. 
Let me show here for the search form. This is a search form. So it is loading with this uh, name form iphone iphone search iphone block iphone i am form dot html dot trick so these are the file name suggestion if you create with the file form dot html dot trick this particular form will be overrided with this html element whatever you are creating in your uh, custom team okay or in your team whatever okay and um, and one more thing so when you go to not appearance, you have to go to stuff configuration, development performance. Here at the bottom, you will be able to see aggregations are enabled. So this is the uh, this is what we disabled here in this file. If you if you you can make it commented and you can disable here. So both are same only. We are overriding this value with your setting.php value. That's it, okay? And this is how you have to configure your uh, environment for theme development. That's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.